Hungarian folk tales. The poor cobbler and the king of the winds. There was once a poor cobbler who toiled all day and all night and had more children than there are holes in a sieve. One day he mended the shoes of a miller who paid him with flour and he was carrying the flour home when the wind blew all the flour away. Well, that's too much. I'll go and find the King of the Winds to let him know it was heartless to take that sack of flour away from me. He made his way through many lands until he arrived at a beautiful meadow. There he saw a whirlwind approaching that blew the dust from the road up into a spiralling cloud. And the poor cobbler was so very afraid that he took his hat off and lay flat on the ground to save himself from the raging wind. You are wise to recognise and bow down before my power, said the King of the Winds, or else you would have fared much worse. Tell me, what brings you to this distant place? I came for compensation from you, Your Majesty. The other day I was paid a sack of flour, and I was just carrying it home when a youthful breeze blew it clean out of my hands, and now my family have no food to eat. Leave that to me. That wicked wind will suffer for its deeds, but I will not let you suffer any longer. So the king led the poor cobbler into his palace, where he fed him and gave him a magical lamb. Then he said, when you arrive home, simply say, shake yourself, O lamb, and the lamb will shake off enough money to keep you for a month. But beware not to try this before you arrive home. The poor cobbler took leave from the King of the Winds and left for home. But his curiosity overcame him and he simply had to see what the little lamb could do. As soon as he uttered the word of command, the ground around the lamb was showered with gold coins. He soon reached his lodgings for the night in the house of a very old friend and he warned his friend never to say, shake yourself, O lamb. But the poor cobbler had hardly fallen asleep when his host and his wife ordered the beast, shake yourself, O lamb. When they saw the gold coins scatter on the ground, they took the animal and replaced it with a lamb from their own flock. The poor cobbler woke the next morning, but failed to notice the change. He thanked the man and his wife and left for home with high hopes in his heart. When he eventually arrived back, he said, Shake yourself, O lamb. He repeated the order a number of times, but the little lamb simply stood and stared back at him. The cobbler then set off again to visit the king of the winds, and he was very angry. He marched straight to the palace to voice his complaint. I am sure you did not take my advice, and you must have spoken to the lamb before you reached home. But this time, I will give you a tablecloth, and all you have to say is, fill yourself with fine fare, O tablecloth, and it will be covered in food. But do not be tempted to try this before you arrive home. But the poor cobbler was too curious again, and he tried the tablecloth. When evening came, he took lodging with his friend again, and he said to him, you mustn't tell my tablecloth to fill itself with fine fare. The friend and his wife could hardly wait for the cobbler to sleep that night. They gave the order at once and when they found out what a valuable tablecloth he had, they exchanged it for one of their own. The next day he arrived home and became terribly angry when he ordered the tablecloth again and again, but nothing happened. Again, the poor cobbler travelled hastily back to see the King of the Winds, who was waiting for him when he arrived and presented him with a small cane. He told him he should not tell the cane to turn around cleverly, O cane, before he arrived home again. The poor cobbler could barely wait to find out what the cane would do, and so he quickly said, Turn around cleverly, O cane. 
The cane hopped up and began to beat him hard. The poor cobbler cried out in pain, Stop! And the clever cane stopped beating him at once. Now the poor cobbler knew what to do with the cane. On his way home, he stayed with his old friend again. He warned the man and his wife not to say, Turn around cleverly, O cane. But his wife's friend woke her husband at midnight. They took the cane into their room and she said, Turn around cleverly, O cane. Once for me and once for my husband. The poor cobbler was quickly woken by their cries. I told you not to address my cane, but it seems that you are the guilty one, so let it beat you as it will. Oh, we promise to return both the lamb and the tablecloth. Then the poor cobbler ordered the cane to stop. But the friend and his wife did not wait for the cane to beat them again, and they hurried forth with the poor cobbler's lamb and his tablecloth, who took them home to his family, who never wanted for money or food again. And they all lived happily ever after. Thank you.